Hey everybody, welcome back to Control. So it turns out when you uh, don't stop at these uh, checkpoints, then it just brings you back here when you load the game, even though it seems to save uh, at specific uh, intervals or areas. But I think we're pretty safe to just get back through here. And we originally were checking out this room and this is where we fell through the the floor at the end. In case you missed that, that was uh, that was the thing that happened. Now I've got so I play I play a lot of video games. Just throwing this out there, and not often am I thinking about a game when I'm not playing it. This is one of those games that I'm constantly thinking about right now, and that's such a good sign for me. Oh, if this is what I think it is. Everybody's favorite childhood show. Here we go. Gotta love the Threshold Kids. Episode 2. Those reflections in the TV are very unsettling. Pyramid, right? Okay. Threshold kids. What's a pyramid? <laughs> a black pyramid. It's in the astral plane. Airplane? Astral plane. It's big, white, and empty. Or is it? It's a weird, crazy alien dimension. The light goes on forever. You can get lost in all that light and never find your way back home. I miss my home. Where's his home exactly? Maybe that's where he's from. He's got kind of the, uh, uh, like pilot esque helmet hat thing going on. A little radio antenna. He's singing. Okay, so I think we came from over there. Oh, hello. I think this is something we definitely have to watch for more. Areas that we can potentially get to by breaking through them. I'm 90% sure that this is... Let me just double check here. Uh, maybe... Oh, weird. Look at that. Okay, well... Yeah, okay, it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm like tripping myself out. I'm tripping myself out. That's a problem. There he is. Oh, hello. Threshold remnant. Thank you. What else do we have in here? Oh, this will be the new uh, Threshold Kids episode. Astral Plane and Missing Mama. Lovely. Oh, that... Oh. Oh, that's trippy. I thought that was like a window. But, uh, it's like a poster on a wall. What's behind the poster? That is... okay. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. <laughs> Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. <laughs> I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, 
Hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted. Otherwise, I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Oh, yeah, I, I have all the time in the world. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Yeah, 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 you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. <laughs> That's why you make a great assistant. What? Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm not going to say on Perkele Suora that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, Perkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up and we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. Oh, don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. The works on the task board here, you can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all, you'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. <laughs> the door in the back. What are these phrases? The door in the back. Oh, nice. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Okay, so... If Ati... I mean, it's quite obvious that he's got more to him than uh, we see right now. But I wonder if he's going to be a bit of a red herring. Only time will tell. What a mess. Burn the trash. Yep. Burn the trash. Burn the trash around the furnace. The fire. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer, not into a moose. Okay, Ati. Uh. Okay. Just seeing if there's anything else going on here. Stapler and altered item. <laughs> yeah, mimics. Am I right? Okay, power plant, coolant pumps, energy converters, ventilation to the right, and janitor's office to the right. It's so quiet. Spin, rate of fire boost, and energy? Okay, well, we don't have that add-on. Oh, yeah, we have mod slots for each thing. Oh, cool. I was kind of thinking that we would have uh, three slots for, uh, for all of it, but this is really good. Okay, so ammo cost per shot reduction, projectiles fired, or projectile spread. So this could be a little bit more accurate. Hmm. I'm going to take this for now. Personal mod wise, energy plus seven. I actually still think the health feels pretty good. At the risk of uh, maybe not experimenting a whole lot. But they all seem relatively minor. Oh, okay, so this, I see where we are now. We've done the full wrap. Whoa, okay. okay. So what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. 
Director's duty to keep the lights on. Northmore. Northmore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. Northmore was all about power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end. Contain the situation. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty <laughs> is to keep That's the cool. lights on. It's not something I've... Northmore. Not something I've been there paying... There were no prime oh. candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. I mean, yeah, the thing is, because if you're not the, the one, then you'll die, right? Uh, what I was going to say is that it's not something I've been paying exclusive attention to, so I may have missed something about it, but I wonder how much time are between these... Um, these directors being appointed. Like how long he was in place for. And that guy before him. Escaped OOP. An object of power escaped the Panopticon. A couple weeks ago and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it so if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the sector alert me immediately do not try to contain it on your own definitely don't bind it to yourself simon erish we saw a merry-go-round horse previously Uh, wait, is he good? Or she? I guess so. Hey, hey, are you new? Go talk with Chief Arish in the security booth. He's in charge here. Okay, we can do that. So security's this way. We've got a shelter. Let's check this first. Low health boost. What does this do for us? Energy gain from... Oh, damage while on low health. Oh, significantly more. Oh, that's actually kind of interesting. I like gaining the energy from the headshots. Um, hmm, damage... Let's see how, how our health is feeling. Because ideally I'd like to keep the health up. But just by nature of the way that we... Uh, we need to kill to gain health. Kind of makes me feel like we might here, benefit from that. Don't see Chief Arish. He's just inside. He'll help you. Ma'am! Hey! Chief Arish, FBC security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Well, uh, I'm the boss now, so, you know. They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... <laughs> it's not even listening. Uh, it's a pleasure. Yeah. Man. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden. Ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. <laughs> We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and... My crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? 
Uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. And Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about <laughs> vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Large-scale HRA? Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. What the? Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Well, that's catchy. <laughs> Listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. You better hope so. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. I mean, as the director, we should hope that they all do. Okay, fix the coolant pumps, energy converters. And we need to burn the trash. Blockages in pipe C through F. Security matters. Hey, Simon, I got your message. Yeah, if someone in the sector is asking about Ati, just tell them you'll handle it and leave it at that. Under no circumstances should any personnel intervene with his day-to-day -day routine. I told you everything I know about him so you could better deal with his odd habits. But yes, it's still very much a classified matter. So they know that he's kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, beyond weird. I saw your report about the quarry worker who wandered into the foundation. Detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we decide on next steps. Went into the foundation. Cheers, Lynn. P.S. In case you hadn't noticed, something is up between Trench and Darling. I know this isn't your strong suit, but try your best to stay out of it. Right. Is the clock back? Now? Oh, man. Adi is good. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. Oh, okay. So let's ask him a few questions here. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. What Learned kind of weird shit? Salvador, the best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, mm -hmm. everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos. But I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. That's cool. Respect. I like I've that. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. <laughs> Weird. NSC power plant? What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. <laughs> Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah, it's all part of the job. I feel like we'll be breaking all of those rules. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. That thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. Yeah, because it changes. Or something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. This could be know good. Do this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. And he probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? Finland. I'm guessing Sweden. Well, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? Okay. Good chat. I should be going. Good chat. Right. Appreciate the honesty. The lift. Seems like his boss is the guy we actually need to be talking to. Hello. Uh, Personal health boost, if we want. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's better to have straight up more health. In a way, you could argue that that would be better. Um, hmm. Let's switch it over to that for a second. Jesse helps Ati by burning the trash pile up around the furnace in the maintenance sector. Let's switch over to this one. Conversions well below the acceptable percentage. As I imagine, we're going to so find what we need for the other anyway. When it blows, we're all going with it. Oh, thanks, Frank. So it's at risk. Oh, nice. Thank you. And let's actually take a look here. We've got a couple of extra abilities. So we're sitting on three. Uh, extra launch damage seems pretty cool. This launching explosives back could be sweet. Um, I'm, I'm tempted to just take the health boost. I'm going to do that for now. Okay. Astro Constructs, if we want. Uh, so there's a Construct for Spin now. This is a ton of source. Uh, this is fairly high as well. Mod-wise... The fact that we're constructing randomly is a little bit less than ideal. But I suppose if we start to level it up, then it's probably good. Um... Let's hold these and we'll upgrade some. We'll do an upgrade before we start making any of those. There's this little shimmering sound that is, I've been trained over years of playing games. I mean, something's there. I don't know if that's just that control point or what, but. I've heard it quite a bit before, too. Okay, control room, central maintenance, uh, coolant pumps are this way, energy converters are this way. So, if this is the only thing on this side, let's try and tackle that first if we can. Water cooling. Coolant pumps are in the back there. What the hell? Ooh. We got action. What the hell are those? Whoa, they explode? What the? Oh, <laughs> Okay. So we're gonna have to keep our distance. Man, if they start mixing up... Oops. If they start mixing up what type they throw at us, we're gonna have problems. Get me out! Hiss charged. The Hiss charge agents are examples of extreme physical deformation resulting from Hiss corruption. Look at that. I couldn't even make out what that was. They're like bent over backwards. Hiss charge display an unthinking fixation on any non-corrupted individuals in the area. Once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused Hiss resonance so dense that it acts as a physical force. The Hiss charge is depleted of the Hiss corruption. After this eruption, the host is left lifeless. This behavior may be an adaptive response to the HRAs. The Hiss charge are designed to blow the devices off potential hosts, exposing them to the resonance. Is the Hiss capable of customizing a corrupted host's altered ability to this degree? Why is the physiology of the Hiss charge so dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions, no answers. Okay. Well, yeah. Pretty significant.
Okay, furnace chamber's also this way. So that's actually helpful if we need to burn that stuff. What is that thing? What the? Might be wondering why I'm, I'm opening that, even though we know that they're just assets. But I do it just so that it clears out the um, notifications that we would have something new there. Power cut. Replace the parts. <laughs> oh wow, we're gonna see some things. What? Oh no! Do I let them come to me here? Whip. Okay, we're actually feeling the energy loss right now. Oh, and we got a flyer. I like that we can also dash backwards. This guy doesn't seem too bad. Famous last words. Launch efficiency. Launch energy cost minus 7%. Ugh! These, these personal mods are going to be so crucial to, to upgrade these. And we're only seeing, like, basic mods, right? Because there's so many that I want, but... When we have to make the decision... Every time... That's a bit trippy. Now, see, okay, so this opens up to the coolant pumps. Now what I'm curious about is that section back here, if that's been changed. Because sometimes I'm worried that with these shifting walls, we're going to unintentionally block ourselves out. Furnace chamber is still open. Let me just check this side. Yeah, we seem clear everywhere, so... Oh, hello. Okay, so that must be through the furnace chamber and up and around. Okay. We uh, we ingested a lot of information here. I think just based on uh, triggering this control point, we'll take a break here. And then we come back, we can deal with the control pumps. But we also have the other mission. Uh, here we have to burn the trash around the furnace. And it looks like that's going to be back in this area. So we'll try and maybe tackle that first. Anyways, uh, wish me luck. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you're having a good time. See you soon. Bye for now.